trying to replicate the circuit that I had going really good on a bigger coil. So I learned tuning this thing by this big monitor here on this table was a bad idea because it doesn't work the same over there on that table. It's all this crap around here. So anyway, I'm going to cut it on. It's going to show. So right now, it's at 26 volts. I'm not really going to pull a whole lot over an amp or so as I draw it up, but as I increase the voltage, you can see the uh, dramatic jump. It's just like in some other ones, the same way I've got them tuned. You see it takes right about 30 volts the way it's tuned to jump out with that arc. Before I wind another coil for it, I'm going to try tinkering around with this one some more. From about two turns, maybe one turn will work even better, but I had to play with the coupling a good deal. So if I put it at 20 volts, And put it at about 24 though. Any higher than that doesn't really like it. Already I know that the output will improve once I bump up the caps on the rails and just play with the tuning a little bit more. I can see that the top load, you know, I've just put this little thing on there that wants probably a small disc and then from there it'll be just tweaking the tuning depending on the voltage I want to drive it at. I haven't really been able to tune this to where I could turn it up to 30 volts reliably. The output starts getting a little weird. Uh, but I can tune it to about 24 volts to get the best output. So again, this all might change around depending on how I vary the caps and the primary and all that. But I'd say that arrangement is pretty damn good. It's way better than what I was getting off this coil before. And it was really just because I needed to play with the primary some more. For the uh, feedback, the gate drive, I'm just using one of these. So this one... See the part number, but either way, I mean they're just they're line filter inductors, 
and while these two weren't identical, I pulled them off the same power supply board and both would work interchangeably. There's only a very slight difference in these. Grab one of those randomly and it works. Um, same thing with this, with the yellow cord, just put about 20 turns on there. Boom. What was really awesome about this was when I bumped down to 25 nanofarad tank cap, played with the coupling a little, I could actually get this thing to run down, I think it was about 6 volts that I could still get it to run interrupted output. <laughs> and the arcs were still like, they were like an inch long and only 6 volts. <clears throat> problem is when you go down below 6 volts um, you know after the diode after the drop from the regulator it no longer powers the TL494 so you can't run it interrupted you know, I could still run it well below that in a continuous wave but it won't give interrupted output below 6 volts but I thought that was pretty cool because I kept cranking it down to see where it would run at so 12 volts was pretty good and I'm like alright well what's it going to do at like 9 or 5 volts so the only thing is, once you get below a good deal below about 12 volts, the divider starts needing more dramatic increases in the gate voltage for it to feed back. So down to 5 volts, I was cranking this thing way up. That wasn't the idea with this, but again, it could be condensed down very small. Use a micro coil, and you can even run it off a 9 volt battery, where it actually gives interrupted arcs, which is I don't know, that's pretty cool to me. Um, but again. I opted for this because I could bump it all the way up to 24 to get the beefier output. Because with that tuning, 25 nanofarad, I, I couldn't crank it really too high above like 20 volts. And just overall, the output was more appealing with this arrangement. But I don't think I can run it down to, you know, <clears throat> 9 volts, 5 volts with, with good little arcs like I could with the other. So I was thinking what I might do in the end is just add another cap on here and make it switchable from 33 to 25 make the primary easily adjustable and then at that point if you wanted to just for novelty's sake you know instead of running it at 24 volts with slightly beefier arcs run it at only 6 9 12 volts to get the impressive output so that's pretty cool